All right, I am going to show you how to draw a plywood sheet uh, for your project plans. We're going to start with a pencil tool. I'm going to draw a box that's 96 inches long and 48 inches tall. That represents a full sheet of plywood. Um, 96 and 48. So that would would represent our full sheet of plywood. It might be helpful for you to know which way the grain runs. And so you can put that on there um, if you'd like. You can edit the grain so it's maybe not so big. Uh, 48, so the wood grain's a little bit smaller. Uh, you can lighten it up a little bit if it's too dark for you, whatever you wanna do on that. Um, but really what the main thing is this, is gonna be a map for you to cut out your, your, um, plywood when you're building. It's going to also allow us to estimate the cost and how much plywood it's taking to build this. So starting with this first sheet of plywood here, we're going to really try to stay on half a sheet. Now I'm going to first take my pencil and come out and draw a line at 48. Now we've estimated when we had you bring in money for your plans or for your project that we're going to try to stay on a half a sheet. It will just make us more uh, cost effective for you. So over here, I've got my example set of plans, and we're gonna use these to um, draw the, the, the plans for the plywood. So let me get these situated a little bit better here. So if we take a look at our side view, this is gonna tell us how wide or tall each piece is gonna be. So we want to make our plywood pieces 28 inches long, and 11 and an eighth inches wide. Now this is going to be for our two sides. These are most likely our biggest two pieces. So let's go ahead and draw them on here. Let me position this screen a little bit better. And so we can still see those plans and we'll zoom in a little bit here for you. Okay, so I'm gonna start by drawing two pieces, 28 inches by 11 and an eighth. Okay, without the face frame and the, the plywood goes all the way to the floor behind the trim. So that's where we get 28 and 11 and an eight. I'm gonna take and start in a corner. I'm gonna come out the direction. You can see the plywood grain on the right view is going up and down. So I would need to match that over here. So I'm gonna go 28 inches out and find my little end node, there it is, and pull it down 11 and you can type it either way. Uh, put in the decimal uh, equivalent or put 11 space 1 divided by 8 and that will show you uh, or that will snap into 11 and an 8 for you. So back over so this should be my side and you can dimension that now or later um, but we'll do it now just to verify that that is the correct size. So 11 and an 8 by 28 the other thing you're gonna to need to do is label each piece. So I'm gonna come out here with this A1 tool. I'm gonna to click and just pull up a little bit and type what I want it to be. This is gonna be one side, so a side, okay? So I've labeled it, I've got my dimensions on there. We need to do this again because we have a right and a left. So if we come, we don't need to draw that line out again because it's already there. And we're gonna come down another 11 and 1 eighth. So you type the whole number, space, and then the fractions, enter, and pull it back the way you wanna go and click. So again, uh, we don't need to dimension 28 again because right there it's straight up and down, but since 11 and an eighth is not uh, length or end to end, we can't uh, tell that, but we can definitely see that this 28 goes all the way down. So we don't need to dimension 28 again, but we will put another side on there just so we know what the part is for. All right, now what we're gonna do is we need to draw in our other pieces. So I'm gonna scroll over to uh, my plans on the right side. 11 and an eighth is the number that all of our pieces are gonna be uh, for um, the outside shape. So if we take a look here, we're gonna have 11 and an eighth for the side and this side and for the bottom piece. Now, if you have a shelf in the middle, that uh, that's not gonna be 11 and an eighth. It's gonna be 11 and an eighth minus about three quarters. So when you slide the back into the project, it can clear the shelf that's there. 
For today's example, we don't have a shelf that's here, so we're just gonna have the backing stop right here at the bottom piece. So we're gonna keep that at 11 and an eighth. So if we look at our plans here, um, we should be able to uh, figure out how long this bottom shelf is. Now, I would dimension this if you don't have it on your plans. Uh, this is a, a picture, so I can't go back and dimension it quick. We'll have to do some simple math. Now we know down here it says that this is three eighths of an inch in right here, three eighths dado, okay? That must mean that the other side is also three eighths dado. That's fine. So we're gonna take 12 minus three eighths and three eighths, and that will tell us how long the shelf is. All right, so 12 minus three eighths and three eighths is three quarters total. So 12 minus three quarter, that's uh, 11 and a quarter. So we're gonna have a piece that's 11 and a quarter. by 11 and an eighth. And that should be our bottom piece. Now, 11 and a quarter and the grain goes sideways. And the reason we know this is on a project, most of the time, none of the grain runs front to back. It should all run side to side or up and down. We shouldn't have nothing running front to back. So because we know this runs side to side, that we know that the length is going to be the 11 and a quarter, which that's how we drew it on here. And we know that this way should be that 11 and an eighth still. Okay, so we have our two sides drawn and our, and our bottom piece here, all right? The only other thing we're gonna need is two cleats. The cleats are strips of wood that are used to give the top some shape or dimension. So they're gonna be the same length as this bottom shelf, which was 11 and a quarter. And they're only gonna be three inches wide. There's one at the back of the project and one at the front of the project. So if we come out here, we'll come out same length and then down three inches. That's gonna be our cleat. And we need two of those. So we're gonna put those on there. Now it might get a little uh, tight for space in here, but we'll just see if we can label them cleat without uh, taking up too much room here. Cleat. And we should dimension them so we know how big they are. Oops. There we go. And the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, that, that, that accounts for all of our plywood parts for our cabinet. So what we're gonna do now is we need to draw our, our drawer parts. So if we look here at this plan, this is what our drawer would look like. We have a back that is eight inches, a front up here that is eight inches, and two sides. These are all plywood. This very solid front or very outside front is solid lumber. So we don't need that for today. We just need the back and the front and the two sides. So we know that uh, if we look at our front view, our opening is six inches, okay? So a drawer needs to be an inch smaller than that. So all of our pieces are gonna be five inches uh, tall. Five inches tall by the dimension that we see here on the plans. So I'm gonna come out here and start drawing. I'm gonna try to use up all my space before I start moving over. So I'm gonna come down uh, five inches and find that line. That's going to be right on the edge there. Five inches and I need one piece that's eight inches long. So I'm going to draw that on there. There's one drawer piece. I'm going to do another one because we need a front and a back. So I'm going to do eight inches again and five inches that way and connect the dots. So there's my drawer back and my drawer front. Um, I'm going to just abbreviate these since they're so small. I'm going to put drawer front and drawer back for that. And now we need the two sides. So they're also going to be five inches tall. So we're going to come down five inches and find our mark. There it is. Now, if we look at our plans, the drawer should be about 10 inches deep total. Okay, but we have a rabbit here and a rabbit up here. 
So we're gonna to need to actually subtract that. And over here, the math is done for us on the dimension. So our sides are gonna be nine and a quarter inches long by five inches tall. So I'm gonna come down, I've already got my five inch mark. I'm gonna go nine and a quarter and then back up. And again, nine and a quarter and back up. And these are gonna be drawer sides. So I can label these drawer S, DS for drawer side. All right, so there are our pieces for our nightstand uh, project. Two sides, a bottom, which we didn't label, bottom or shelf, whatever you want to call it, um, two cleats that give the, the, the box some structure, um, your drawer back and drawer front, and your drawer sides. So for this particular nightstand, this would be all that we need for our plywood view. Hopefully this helps in laying out your pieces. Happy drawing.